I'm Steve Albini. I am an analog recording engineer and I make records on analog tape every day. I'm at Studio La Fabrique. The band Rat the Magnificent have agreed to play some songs for us and I'm going to show you my normal working methods for recording, mixing and finally producing a finished stereo master for an analog recording session. There's a bit of a magic sound notion associated with analog tape. People think that the process of recording to tape changes the sound in some magic way and that's what makes it good. It's very rare that I would use the tape machine outside of its normal parameters as a special effect. The session that we're doing at La Fabrique is a 24 track, 15 inches a second using the CCIR EQ curve. All tape machines have a range of performance characteristics which allows you to fine-tune the session to suit the music that you're recording. Now I'd like to introduce my good friend and comrade Greg Norman, the chief engineer at Electrical Audio, the studio that I run in Chicago. I'll be playing back a one kilohertz tone and uh, adjusting it for zero on the VU meter, which that's pretty close but it's off maybe a quarter dB. I'll just go back and forth and show you. That's the whole kitten caboodle. Steve! Each of the drums is audible individually, but you can also hear the sort of ringing interaction between them. So one way to minimize that is to use dampening on the drums. Now I have a much drier, much more percussive sound. So this is the ribbon microphone. And this is the condenser microphone. And if I play them together, you'll hear that there's a hollow sound because one of them is out of phase with the other, or out of polarity with the other. And if I collapse the signal into mono, then you'll hear the cancellation effect of the out of phase signal. I feel a pretty heavy obligation to the bands that I work for to make a recording that can survive potentially long enough for them to find an audience and to find their cultural significance. Yeah.